welcome to my channel. I have a terrific dessert for you today. It is a very simple lemon pound cake and oh my God, is it delicious. I do have to say I'm missing the baking soda in my ingredients, but no worries. I will have them all listed below in the quantities. So without further ado, let's get started. So in my mixing bowl, I have flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder, and I'm just stirring to combine and I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm putting together some of my wet ingredients. So I have my milk, I have fresh squeezed lemon juice, and now I'm gonna be adding in a little vanilla, which is optional, and then I'm gonna start to combine that and I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, in my stand mixer, I've added softened butter. And to that, I'm going to add some sugar and some lemon zest. Now I'm adding in the eggs and I'm starting to combine. And now I've just added the milk and I'm sorry it went out of focus a little bit. So now all of my wet ingredients are combined. I, you know, don't forget to scrape down your sides in the middle of mixing so that everything is incorporated. So now I've just added in all of the flour. When I say this is simple pound cake, it's a simple pound cake. Cause some pound cakes you have to switch between the dry and the wet, but we're not doing that. We're keeping it very simple and easy. And so we're just gonna stir this to combine. And guess what? The batter is done. This is the end of the batter. Your batter should look like this when it is completed. And we're gonna, we, I've scraped down the sides. I'm gonna stir it up again. And then we're going to put it in our, guess what? Our baking dish. Cause we gotta go in the oven. It has to go in the oven or we wouldn't have a pound cake. So now I have um, my, my baking pan my bunt pan and I'm spraying it with cooking spray. Now, or baking spray, you definitely want to spray heavy because it will stick in these sorts of pans. So it doesn't hurt to overspray instead of under spraying. So anyway, and this has a combination. You can do it the old school way and just do the oil and the flour, but since they already have it made for us, why not use it? You know, it makes it easier than the going the way that I used to do when I used to bake with my grandma. So anyway, now I'm just adding in the batter and then I'm going to um, actually kind of spread it out to make sure it's a little even. Um, I did make a little mess, but I will clean that up before I put it in the oven. But I just wanted to give you a little visual of me uh, putting this into the baking dish. Now, in some case, if you do have extra batter, which I don't believe this one will have any extra batter, but if you do, don't overfill the pan. You do wanna leave at least a fourth of an inch from the top because the cake will rise. If not, it's going to spill over into the middle. It's gonna make a big mess in your oven and no one wants to clean all that up. So just be careful not to overfill. You could always use the extra batter and make a cupcake or two, you know? Waste not, want not, that's my thing. But anyway, this is a very simple lemon cake. Uh, I got this recipe from my great, great grandmother. I was blessed to have three grandmothers living at the same time, but the one who taught me how to bake is my great, great, great grandmother. And I'm, I'm probably gonna start dedicating a couple of those uh, of my recipes and call it Grandma Lillian. But anyway, this is going to go into a 325 degree oven that you should probably already have preheated. And it's going to bake for about an hour. And see me, I'm shaking and tapping to try to get out any air bubbles and also to help this settle. So off to the oven it goes. So in the meantime, I'm going to mix together my glaze that goes over the top. Um, and it's just powdered sugar and lemon juice. Um, you can also add butter into it if you want to. I did not add any butter, but if you did, it would be like two tablespoons of butter. Oops, I have a little bit of a seed in there and nobody wants to eat that, so that has to come out. Anyways, um, I'm just stirring to combine and once it comes out of the oven, 
um, and it cools down a little bit. It won't be all the way cool because I like the glaze to be a clear glaze over the cake. I don't like it to be the thick white glaze. So it's just gonna be a clear glaze. It's gonna go over the cake and I'm just gonna brush it over the cake. But in the meantime, we're almost done. We're waiting for this cake to come out and I will show you what it looks like. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and also give me a thumbs up. So here's the cake and guess what? Here is the completed cake. I do not have where I have brushed the cake with the glaze, but if you kind of look around my beautiful cake dish, you'll kind of see the little dropping of the lemon glaze and you can kind of see a little bit of the speckles because I didn't do a good job of mixing my powdered sugar it looks like but it doesn't matter it all goes down the same way so anyway this cake is completed you guys thank you for watching and as always enjoy 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 don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos thanks for watching goodbye